right, so once again, we are in the panel's embedded whiteboard. And in this video today, we're going to talk about changing default whiteboard settings or simply changing the background for a specific page in the whiteboard. So let's go ahead and uh, start with default settings uh, because you may want to, in fact, change the properties uh, of the whiteboard. So every time you start a new whiteboard session, you'll have specific writing utensils, highlighters, uh, a specific background by default, even the eraser. You can change all of those things. So every time you start a new whiteboard session, the whiteboard will be configured automatically the way you want it to work most of the time. As you can see, I've already done that. You probably noticed if you fire up your whiteboard that it comes up as a blank white canvas. That's its normal default setting. I've changed mine to this darker canvas because I'm on camera quite a bit and so it's just friendlier uh, on camera. And the way to change these defaults is very easy. We go down to the settings button here. It looks like a cog or a gear in a machine. Give that a touch. And there's our settings menu. The default settings item is the very last one on the menu. Give that a touch and there you go. So we can change the background, the smooth pen, the highlighter, and even the eraser. So you can select, do you want the entire object eraser or do you want the partial, what I often refer to as the fine eraser uh, to get, have more control over it. So you have uh, those choices. So every time you fire up a new whiteboard session, whatever these defaults are, uh, the way that you've set them, that's how they'll be uh, when the whiteboard fires up. Um, now, if you're only interested in, because uh, maybe you've done that or maybe not, but you're just interested in changing a page because you're working on something specific and you want the canvas or the background to be uh, to be something specific in order to, to make that happen, you can do that. We're going to go back down here to this corner, but instead of that settings button, now we're going to go here to this plus button, which as you probably already know, means add a new page. But if I touch and hold that button for a couple seconds, hey, look at that background. So I can change the color. Let's go with that and go to pattern this tab up here. Oh, I got some options here, don't I? Let's go with that one, hit add, and there you go. So you can absolutely make the background for your whiteboard be something specific while a whiteboard session is live. Now, if you want to get really fancy here, and you're not required to, but if you want to, let's say you've got a nice picture of the Earth as viewed from space and you want that to be the background for your whiteboard, you can absolutely do that. So I'm gonna go back to that touch and hold the plus there, the background window, we're already in that pattern section. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I have a button there labeled custom. Now, a pro tip that the system already gives you is this recommended size, where it says 3840 by 2160, uh, otherwise known as 4K. So the system's already telling you, hey, listen, these are big 4K screens. In order to have the best experience, you'll want to use 4K pictures when you can. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hit that custom button. Uh, I do have a nice picture um, and, it's, I'm, and my, my recents folder. That's what actually comes up by default. The idea is, this is the file commander, the, the panel's embedded file commander, uh, and you just want to navigate to the folder where you have pictures stored that you want to use as whiteboard backgrounds. So you go up to the menu here, it looks like three lines, give that a touch, and then again, use the file commander if you're going to someplace uh, specific in terms of a folder. But I, I keep things in my downloads folder because I do this every day, so that's a, that's a quick choice here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hit that, and there's that picture. The Earth as viewed from space, and there you go. Now again, not all pictures are created equally. This is a 4K picture, but the aspect ratio isn't quite a full 16 by 9. I already knew that going in. So if you, if you find that a picture doesn't entirely fill the screen, and it is a full 4K picture, just recognize that the way the picture is formatted might not be a full 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So don't let that bother you. If you really wanted to fill the screen for real, then you just have to hunt for other pictures. But I just wanted you to be aware of that. So that is how we change whiteboard default settings using the settings button or just changing a specific page uh, to use a specific background. And that's using uh, the backgrounds menu from the new page button. So you have an opportunity to configure your whiteboard however you choose.